you look at Christian Schott from the other side, he was saying how oftentimes you can catch a, a goalkeeper going the wrong way or you, they get in a different mindset. From your angle, what does that shot look like? Um, like what, like how, like, it, it, like physically it just looks like a very difficult shot, but he made it look pretty, pretty easy. Uh, I think for the shooter, that is a difficult shot for the goalkeeper. Very difficult because if I put myself in that position, you know, you're the, the right-footed shooter who can curl it to far post is cutting over across, and so you have to keep moving and adjusting and adjusting to the left, so your momentum is taking you to the left. So if that shot now goes to the right, you have to stop your momentum, go the other way. It requires uh, an insane amount of technique to be able to do that quickly. And then uh, obviously the other thing with the right-footed shot coming this way now, once you know that ball is going to curl away and keep curling away from you, so the distance doesn't get shorter; it keeps increasing and increasing. So it's very, very difficult because you have to treat the shooter with the utmost respect, and that that is you know you try to stay as as flat as possible, as as, as neutral as possible as you can on impact, but you know the left foot is or the, or the curler to your left side is probably the more um, likely thing to happen, um, and obviously Christian's way capable of doing that. But then to do this on top of that was, yeah, I mean, it worked out a brilliant goal for Christian at a time that we needed it. On the uh, free kick uh, towards the end of the game, it may have been the last chance that Minnesota had. Uh, it was a low free kick that just went wide to post. It didn't look like you were able to get much of a view on it. Did you see that shot coming through and know it was wide, or was it kind of a lucky that it? it yeah. No, so I, I mean, it went keeper side. I had the ball set to the right side, four guys. Um, um, uh, more than capable of going over the wall from that distance. I think that was the thing I was worried about most because it was a little bit further out. So guys tend to struggle with bringing the ball back down, but from that distance, um, it's much easier to do so. Um, so that was an option, but um, obviously I'm, I'm seeing the ball on the left side of the wall and see it right away. I was able to pick up the trajectory, and I think on the wet, on the wet turf as well, it wasn't going to curl back in, it was only going to curl back out um, and, and, and push through with the pace he put behind it and felt comfortable that was going to go away. Uh, Smetcher talked a little, um, said in his post-game presser that uh, one of the uh, talking points was about South Peace defending today. Uh, from your vantage point, uh, Minnesota seemed to give you guys some trouble on that. Uh, what did you see from your end? Um, good service. Um, I think that Laud was, was a bit of an issue for us. You know, we, yeah, two guys set on me, and when I already have two guys, we try to at least uh, go man to man on one of them. Um, but Law did a good job of at times pushing out of the pocket, even past Christian, and at other times uh, kind of just staying inside the pocket right behind him. And then obviously, if you have a good service from Reynoso, um, it's going to cause issues. But um, thankfully, on set pieces, they, they, they weren't able to capitalize. So um, some, things we'll, some things we'll look at and try to improve. but. Uh, um, overall, collectively, we were able to, to weather it. So. Did it feel like a must-win game today? Um, no. This, mathematically, we're, we're, there's so much season to be played. I mean, there's so, there, there is a lot of season to be played. So, with that being said, this was a massive opportunity to finally get going um, at home against a decent opponent, but uh, we're um, borderline full strength. Uh, yeah, full strength, I'd say. And, uh, you know, why, why waste chances to, to, to get on the horse and collect points and move in the right direction? So, no, no it wasn't a must win, um, but um, we wanted to win today because we, you know, all, all, all focus now is on, on, on one competition in the league and uh, um, we, we, we don't want to play just, just for the sake of playing, you know. We, we, we want to get into playoffs and give ourselves a good chance to, to win a trophy, another trophy. So. How important is it to take this momentum on the road? Uh, um, I mean, uh, look, we, we've won one game. I don't know if we what, would what, call it a momentum. Um, it's three points. That's good. Um, it's going to be two very difficult games on the road now, quickly coming back to back and against teams that are in good positions. So um, maybe that's one thing. You know, it's not a. It's not a um, must win type of situation at this point but I think we're already starting to look at six point games almost if you will right usually you start talking talking about that towards the end of the season but um, when we're having conference games um, those are those are games we look at and we want to take points away from opponents but also uh, obviously keep keep us moving in the right direction so um, we'll try to get something out of the game on the weekend uh, the midweek and then the weekend
Yeah. After the two road games, you have five games in a row here. Mm -hmm. What's the importance of that? Yeah, again, I think that's that's maybe an opportunity to really build a little of momentum and, and take advantage of of, um, of putting uh, points in the back. Um, five games, five times three is a, is a good amount of points, especially with how many we have so far. So um, it's not a given. We know that. Um, you know, I think we, we take pride in in playing well at home and trying to make this a fortress. I think it's it's been a little bit more difficult in the last year plus, um, but. Um, if you want to achieve things, you got to be hard to beat um, and, and, and have a really good home record. So we'll try to go on the road and get some get something to take home from those games, and then uh, and then we'll really want to take advantage of those home games.